Hey y'all, we're making a cheese today that has such a rich heritage in Middle Eastern countries. This recipe is hundreds, even maybe thousands of years old. Let's find out how to make this delicious, economical cheese in your own home today. Welcome to Heritage Ways. I'm Miss Katie, and you are at Heritage Ways where we honor home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. Today we are celebrating the heritage of Middle Eastern countries by making this wonderful cheese here at home, and we're also honoring home. And I hope that it spreads hope to you and hope that you can make things that are outside of your normal repertoire or things that are more economical and healthy. So let's jump right in and find out how to make labna. Now, I may have mispronounced that, and I've seen it spelled two different ways, which I'll spell down here below for you. But we enjoy this lab nut. Really, it's just um, a yogurt cheese made into balls with herbs. The name, don't let the name frighten you. It's a very delicious cheese. We like to eat it on pizza, or Mr. Patient just eats the balls of cheese. But let me show you what I did to make this today, or let's make some. In this, this is a um, a paint uh, strainer cloth. It's reusable. I got it probably two years ago or more probably at the local paint store. Well, um, I put my homemade raw yogurt in this. So let's back up. If you want to know how to make the raw yogurt or any yogurt, you don't have to have raw milk. We have a video. It's just 59 seconds and it's short but thorough of how to make this the easy yogurt in a crock pot i know a lot of people are doing it nowadays in an instant pot i've not done that because the crock pot is so simple that our eight-year-old literally makes yogurt we prefer to make it out of raw milk but of course we've made it many times out of organic milk whole milk and this particular batch of yogurt was made out of raw milk. So it's unpasteurized, not homogenized. So that's why in this, I'm going to see the flecks of yellow, which is the butter fat. And so I let this, I made the yogurt, and then I strained it. We actually have another video that talks about how and why to strain yogurt. So I will just, this is not even, I would recommend that you probably strain this. We're going on 24 hours of this being strained, maybe, maybe even 18 to 20. Uh, you could even strain it for much longer, even 36 or 48 hours. So I'm going to just take this yogurt, which is still wet, this yogurt cheese, and you just wash this with your dishes. I wanted to show you now, this is the whey that was separated from the raw yogurt. So we made the yogurt and then we strained it and this is the whey. And we will have other um, ways to use whey in other videos. Okay, now this is um, probably a lot moister than I want it to be. Yet. I probably should have let it strain a little bit longer. It is dry around the edges and it is moist in the middle. Kind of looks, um, it's like a cream cheese, but it is um, a little wetter, a little wet, wetter than a cream cheese. And you can use this as a substitute for cream cheese. Now, um, some people put. Um, their salt. I'm about to put salt in and some people do that before they strain it. Just letting you know that. Also letting you know this is a half gallon of yogurt. Half gallon and I would say it probably made two and a half maybe two and a half or so cups of the cheese. Maybe a little less if I'd let it strain a little longer. I'm going to put in, in about two, and a, two to two and a half cups of cheese, I'm going to put probably, I'm going to put a scant teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. 
you can put more or less. Then I'm going to put probably just a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper. I don't know that that's a traditional ingredient, but I like pepper in this. And then I've got my homemade Italian um, herb blend. And I'm probably going to put a link a video for you so you'll know how to make this at home. And I'll probably put, since we like a lot, I'm going to put a tablespoon and I'm just kind of going to crush it up in my hand. Now I'm just going to stir the salt and pepper. And the Italian herbs into the cheese smells good and by the way now this is ready to eat the the yogurt cheese you can eat um, like I said you can use it as a, a, a cream cheese you don't have to go to the steps further that I'm about to go I am slicing this organic I say organic because I am going to put the peels down in here so the organic uh, lemon into some slices before I get my start getting my hands dirty. Half of an organic lemon. There you go. All right, I have any jar you want to have. Decorative jar is nice, but I have this um, glass jar. Now I'm going to go get two since this is a little wetter than it probably should be. I'm going to go get two spoons so that the heat of my hand doesn't soften it and make it even more or harder to work with. All right, what I'm going to do first is pour a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of my jar. Now, um, I'm going to put a couple of lemon slices. This is just my preference. I've made this so much I know that I like lemon. I've also used... Um, cayenne peppers. I've used fresh herbs. You can put a sprig of a sprig of rosemary. You can put garlic. That's really good. I've got that inside. I might make another batch with garlic cloves. So you can imagine olive oil, lemons, rosemary. I mean this is going to be a great treat. By the way this will last a while in your refrigerator but let me show you how and why it will last. Now, typically, if I were to let this strain for, say, the 48 hours, it would be drier, and I could make the balls with it and just put the balls in my jar. But as it is, I'm kind of pushing them off like I'm making, like, dumplings kind of idea. You could have this on a salad. Okay, I'm also going to put, just, I'm going to add oil as I go. Kind of coats it. This is what helps preserve it in the refrigerator, is the oil. And I'm just going to continue to kind of make, gently make layers in here. If I had any leftover, or if I didn't want to go to the trouble of making the balls, I could have this as a dip. Wouldn't that be good with pita chips? And this will keep for a while in the refrigerator, as long as the oil is covering the cheese will keep for several weeks. Now the raw milk I use is so healthy for our, for our family, but do your own research to find out what is the healthiest option for your family. Okay, now I'm not going to crowd these cheese balls, these labna balls in here. This is where I add a little more oil on top. I'm going to put some more lemon. Just 
is a, it comes out so tasty with that lemon. Also, that's going to hold that down. Now, you don't turn it or anything in the refrigerator. You just let it sit there. You can eat it any time just by taking a spoon and gently pulling the balls out, the labna balls. So there it is, guys. There is labna, a cheese recipe that is so old, the heritage goes back generations in the Middle East. I hope you enjoy this cheese today, and let me know if you have any questions down below. And remember, guys, everybody has a story. Take time today to listen to somebody's story. Have a good day. Hey y'all, I wanted to show you, this is several days after I made this labna. This of course, the olive oil has solidified in the refrigerator. When I made this uh, a year or two ago or more uh, at my other home, I kept this on the counter for two or three days. And you know, that's, that's okay to do that, but our temperature fluctuates and it gets hot in this tiny home sometimes. Um, so anyway, I keep it in the refrigerator. Now, what I could do right now is I could leave it out, let it come to room temperature, but for our purposes of right now, what I'm going to show you what I'm doing, I just wanted to show you one way that I use this. I've got some of my homemade sourdough bread, and you could use this lab in so many ways. Um, I could toast the sourdough bread, but it's already kind of naturally toasted because it's a couple of days since I've made it. But I've got avocado with salt and pepper and lime juice right there. And then I'm going to get a ball of my yogurt cheese, which is our labna. Now I'm going to, there it is. It doesn't make a huge mess. There it is. And I'm going to spread that on top of my avocado toast. This is going to be so yummy. It's going to be a mouthful. Mm. That really is good. Mm. <laughs> Just one way you can use the labna. Hi friends. Can I read to you 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 17? And 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. See y'all next week.